Welcome to another RSR. Tonight I'm reviewing Atlas FC 1, CF Monterey 2, and Liga MX's Klaus Sorda 2024, Hornada 12 on Domingo Futbolero. We are back with the Sunday games. It's been a while, but we're back. Should be till the end of the season. So that'll be great. With that being said, Atlas FC, Uno, CF Monterrey, Dos, and La Liga MX, Clausura, Jornada, 12. Goals were scored as follows. Maximo Lano Mesa in the 44th minute, right before the end of the half. Chips, Camilo Vargas, puts a banger into the net, chips him to make it nil one Cero Uno, and that's the way we go into half. Cero Uno. Miro tiempo. Rayados. Cero. Cero. Nil one for Monterey. And here's the thing. That's exactly what they wanted. Actually better than what they wanted. What they wanted was to have a nil-nil draw at the half. And then dominate the second half. Atlas played very well in the first half, and honestly, after they were down two, they played pretty well until the red card. What Monterey wanted to do was play this game out. Just play this game out. They didn't really p bust their asses to win, is my point. They rotated. They were worried about the players that played Champions Cup. They still thought they could win, which they did. They're still top of the league, which they are. Was it the best performance? No. Did they have many chances? No. Did they make the most out of their chances? Yes. But they probably just wanted to do that in the second half, which luckily they got that late goal in the first half because at the end of the game, it would matter. In the 57th minute, Jesus Gallardo with a bullet header. Ball crossed in. Jesus Gallardo with a bullet header off the top of his dome and into the net to make it nil to Cerro Then a free kick for Atlas. Aldo Rocha stands over it, bangs it into the net. Andrada doesn't even move, and it's 1-2. to two. Then Atlas is really going for it by the end of that game. Last three minutes, they play down a man due to a rightful red card on Nervo. But Atlas is really looking for that equalizer. They're playing for a playoff spot. They're very close. Now, they're still six points behind. And best case scenario, they'll still be six points behind if they were to win the next match week. Next Tornada. So, again, they really wanted that point. They didn't get it. And honestly, they deserved it. I'm not going to lie. Honestly, they deserved a point. They honestly deserved a point. But again, they didn't get it. Stats are as follows. Full-time, 1-2, to 1-2, uno a dos, rayados. Full-time stats. 21 shots to 7. 6 shots on goal to 3. 47% possession to 50. 3% possession. 369 passes to 440. 82% pass accuracy to 83, 6 fouls, 12, 1 offside to 2, 2 yellow cards to 1, 1 red card to 0, 7 corners to 3. Listen, for me, I gotta say, Monterey did what they needed to do. They made their plan and honestly, well executed their plan. They executed the plan of get the goals we need, get the hell out of there. Defend well, get the goals we need against the run of play, get the hell out of there. And that's what they did. And honestly, even before the second half, yes, most of the first half was definitely Atlas's game. They were having a lot of chances. Arguably, they should have had a penalty on a handball by Jordi Cortizo. They didn't get it. Shocked me. They should have got that. Rightfully so. You can't make no paid the refs jokes there. That was a handball. They actually got jobbed for once. Hot loss. So you know what? I guess it is what it is. But they should have got a penalty there. They didn't. That could have made this 2-2. Again, I think they deserved a draw with the way they played hot loss. The way they played in this match, they deserved a draw. 
and they didn't get it, which is honestly sad considering they were the better team for a lot of this match and they pushed the play for a lot of this match. Now, of course, that's probably half due to Monterey's plan of defend well, score what we need, get the hell out of here. That's probably part of, probably happened partly because of Monterey's plan to take this one easy. But, hate to tell you, they still deserve to win. Atlas played amazingly in this match. I actually feel sorry for him. I know that's crazy. I've never said that before. I know. I've never said that before, but I actually feel sorry for Atlas. They deserve better in this match. They deserved better. They deserved a point. They didn't get it. That's football, but still, it kind of hurts to them that they didn't get that point. Rados, on the other hand, Monterey. Again, they, they played this game like they didn't want to play it. At least actually play the game. They defended very well, yes. Going forward, they did that against the run of play like five times and scored twice. And they were both great goals. Every goal in this game was a golazo, to be totally honest, for both teams. All three goals were golazos. The header, the bullet header, golazo. The chip by Mesa, golazo. Of course, Rocha's free kick as well. But Monterey legit didn't want to be there. They were like, eh, we got to Champs Cup quarterfinals. We're still leading the league. They need those three points because they're leading the league by three because of those three points. But they, they definitely sleepwalked through this match. Like, the way they played, it's just... It seems like they slept walked through this match. Like they really could have cared less. And they only played because they had to. And even then they rotated. They put out a weaker 11. They put out some of their best players later on in the match. Which honestly, well it didn't help them win. But may have been the smarter decision considering, well, they only won by one instead of two. Thanks to that great Rolcha free kick. So, thought process-wise, it's like, okay, where are we with this match, is the question. And it wasn't the best performance. It was honestly a very trash performance. Not just okay, not just it was what it was. It was honestly a trash performance, because they wanted it to be a trash performance. I'm very disappointed with Rayados. I am disappointed with Rayados. Legitimately so. And you know what? This game was honestly mostly boring. Three great goals, but honestly mostly boring. Like Rayados did exactly what they needed to do. If you didn't force them, they wouldn't have. But I guess the luck of the Irish fell their way. Of course I'm wearing green. But with that being said, man of the match for me, I'm going to go with... Maxim Milano Mesa. Beautiful goal. He did play well, I thought, for most of the game that he played. I thought he played well. He got a goal. One of the goals they needed to win. It wasn't the winner, but... Started them off on the right foot after having a horrible half. So you know what? Max Milano Mesa. Honestly, pff, nobody on Monterey deserves man of the match. And honestly, when it comes to hot loss, I don't have many arguments there either. So yeah, Max Milano Mesa will give it to him. With that being said, if you like this video, like it, share, subscribe. You know what it is. Tell your friends. Hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button. Hit that bell notification. Once subscribe. Send super chats on the live streams. Comment on this video. Put us in playlists. Share us friends and family. All that great stuff. I will see you on Tuesday for a prediction of the first round of CONCACAF World Cup qualifying. The two first round ties, of course, we will, qual we will predict those two ties on Tuesday. Not much to do, but CONCACAF World Cup qualifying for 2026 starts this week. This upcoming week, it does. The first two... 
The first four games of it start this week. The first round ties to qualify the two teams. Two teams to the second round starts this week. So we'll predict those. So I'll see you on Tuesday with a good I voted sticker on as well. So I'll see you then. I'm Ryan and I'm out. Peace. See you.